Let's program and be creative. It's time for MIT App Inventor. In this video, we're going to continue our journey in our Animal Park app. This will be our last part of this app. We're going to make this Animal Escape which will be a simple game that we're going to make where an animal will move randomly around here. It's like the old whack-a-mole game and you'll have to hit him. Either you'll hit or you'll miss him. And this is how it will look. So let's get started. In the previous video, we actually already made the button animal escape, but we have not made the screen. We have not coded any of these things. Our screen is done, as you can see here, and we're ready to code our home screen. So as you can see before, we made this go to screen that all of our buttons are using. So this code is very simple now since we have that one piece of code. I'm going to click on BT and Animal Escape. I'm going to pull in this. I'm going to call our procedure we made. I'm going to click on Procedures, pull in Go to Screen. I'm going to fill in these two boxes for input. Of text screen name is going to be animal escape and the message is going to say let's play animal escape and catch some animals now as always you want to make sure you connect your emulator for this app we actually can just simply use the emulator some of the previous parts of the app like animal draw which used a camera our camcorder, or even Animal Record, which we re use the sound recorder and the video recorder, needed a phone or tablet. But this one, we're simply playing a game on the screen, so you can simply use the emulator. As always, if you have an Android phone, that's probably your best bet to use. But for this tutorial video, I will be using the emulator. We've coded our button. You know what will happen if I press it? We've seen this before, but let's just do it. So it says the text, but it says invalid screen, animal escape. That's because I have not made the screen yet. So let's do that to get rid of our error. So I'm going to go to add screen. I'm going to name it exactly the same. So spelling does matter. I just typed it like this just to show you. If I have a capital E, then this should be a capital E because case does matter, uppercase or lowercase does matter. Make sure that what you type in here matches in here. If not, you would still get that same error because it's not exactly the same. I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. Here is my animal escape screen. Now let's go back to screen one. And now let's click on Play Animal Escape. Let's play animal escape and, catch some animals. and there you go. So we know that first screen is now done. Now let's work on the design of the screen. So you can see I have a horizontal arrangement at the top with my home button. I have two labels, a button, and then I have a checkbox. So let's just lay it out how it is. I'm going to have my horizontal arrangement at the top. You can see it goes all the way across the screen. By now you should know that is fill parent. Also the height. Let's just make it 50 pixels. And the color is black. So I'm going to change the background color to black. Also, let's get rid of this up top where it says Animal Escape. Again, we want your name. Jamie Gantz, Animal Park, Animal Escape. Now, normally we put a background there. This looks like it's a background, but it's actually canvas, so we don't have to worry about the background. So let's add in our home image. We rename it IMG Home. I'm going to make the height fill parent. Remember, this is 50, so that's going to be 50. 
and I'll make the width 50 pixels and then I already have my home icon here. Now we have two labels, animals and miss. So this is when you hit them and this is when you miss them. So I'm gonna drag in a label. I'm gonna call it LBL hits and animals. Let's make sure I have it all caps. So let's do it the same way. Animals and I'm gonna do a colon and zero and make that yellow. And I made it bold. And you can see this is at the very top. I want to actually make my horizontal alignment center. There we go. Next thing is another label, a play button. So this is going to be LBL misses. I'll say miss, the colon and zero. Again, I can make it, use your creativity, you can use your own color. I'm just gonna keep it the same that I made here. Miss, I'm gonna have a play button. I'm gonna call VTN play. I play in here. Background color will be red. And I think I did it rounded. And the text color, I made it yellow. And then I have a little sound checkbox. So this is the first time we're using this. You can see, you can use a switch or a checkbox. I'm just gonna drag a checkbox in and we'll call it C box sound. And here, I'm gonna say sound and the text color, I will make it yellow. So there you go. So now I need a label and another label together. Horizontal arrangement, I'm gonna do field parent. I'm gonna drag in two labels. This is going to be LBL game title. And you can see that is amazing animal escape. I'm going to make that with fill parent. And then what colors did I have on it? Red and yellow. So I'm gonna make the background red. I'm gonna make text color yellow and you have to kind of play with it to see what I have. So 20 is way too big. Let's try 16. Looks like 16 works to fit it all on one line. And I might want to center that. And then it has a score. So this label, rename it LBL score. Score zero. This is yellow. I think that is blue. It bold and italics and you can see like it looks like reds all the way around that so you can see like this is red but it looks like there's red around that and over here it doesn't look like that but what I did is for this horizontal arrangement I simply made the background color red and now you can see there you go and that's what we have it looks like this is a little bit bigger so Let's make the width of this one something like, let's say 20%. 20%? No. Let's try 30%. 30% works, and I'll do the same thing and center this guy. Checking our little design. Last thing we have is a canvas with an image sprite on top of it. So I'm going to go to drawing and animation. I'm going to drag in a canvas. I'm going to make it fill parent by fill parent. And I need grass here. Let's just simply go to Google Images, Grass, Background. And you want a top-down view. So you see I could do this or this. You don't really want a side view. You want top-down so it looks like they're moving on the grass. You don't want any of the sky because you don't want animals floating in the sky because the animals are just gonna move all the way around here. So I might choose this. Let's just open this image new tab, pretty big, save the image. So now that we saved the image, we're just gonna come back over here. On our canvas, we're just gonna leave it canvas since we only have one. We could call it CNV game. I'm gonna come here, background image, choose the file, upload our grass. It seems like our emulator is not working, so we're just gonna do connect, refresh companion screen. And there you see, it shows up. The last part we need 
for our design and we will be done with this video. You can see we have a little image sprite which will be our animal. And that is right here. And to quickly read up on it, a sprite that can be placed on the canvas where it can react to touches and drags, interact with other sprites. So anytime you play a game like Angry Birds and you drag the bird back, it is an image sprite um, or any other game. So this we're gonna drag out here and we're gonna call it IMG SPR animal. So image sprite animal. We already have animals. We don't have to upload anything. Remember from the first beginning, animal sounds, you uploaded all the animals that you wanted. So we can still use these same ones. So for example, I might use a hyena right now or an elephant. Let's go back to animal escape and I'm just gonna have a picture and select one of those animals. So you can see here, hyenas. It's obviously going to be way too big. So let's make the height something like 50 pixels by 50 pixels width. And that looks like that's pretty good. You think we're done. This looks exactly like this. But remember we have some non-visible components. Some of the ones that we always used. So we need to go to media. One that we always have is Texas speech. So I'm gonna drag in my Texas speech. And anytime we hit this picture, it's not gonna stay a hyena. We're actually gonna change it. We also want to play the sound. So in order to play the sound, we're gonna need a sound effect. Now we're not gonna set the sound effect here, we're gonna set it in code. And this picture right now, it's just saying hyena, but we're also gonna change that. We're gonna have five different animals that are gonna change as they kinda go here. All right, so this little image sprite is going to move around our screen and your job is going to be to hit them. I'm gonna to go to sensors. We've used the accelerometer sensor on our animal sounds. And you can see there's a bunch of sensors, barcode, barometer, clock, gyroscope, height, hygrometer, light sensor, pedometer. There's a bunch of things here. We want time. What time is a clock? I'm gonna drag that. And You're gonna add two clocks. On day one on design, I want you to figure out how to code this on your own. One clock is going to be clock animal move and the other clock is going to be clock time to play game. So look at the code on day one and see if you can figure out, but you will need two clocks on day one. On day two, I'm actually going to give you my video of me coding this thing. But day one, again, I want you to try on your own. You have an Netflix experience to now look at some code and actually code it yourself without following a video. We are done with the design of Animal Escape. In the next video, we will actually go over how to code this app and we'll be done with this app.